I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna hide behind the rock and I'm gonna get you. Hey everybody, Crotal is here again for another installment in our Ark Mobile, Ark Survival Evolved Mobile series. I'm just trying to take out this giant uh, Diplodocus with my Tranodon helping me out there. It's actually kind of making it challenging to try to shoot between its weird, crazy circling of the Diplodocus. And you may wonder, how can I so brazenly walk right up to such a giant beast with just a Tranodon and some arrows? Well, the truth is Diplodocus cannot damage you. It is... Which actually makes this kind of sad. I don't, I don't really enjoy this anymore. This feels horrible. But I have to finish it. Finish what I started. It's making me sad. Uh, it's the friendliest creature on the island, and it just wants to make friends with you. So when it runs up and it jumps up and down, it, it just knocks you back, but it doesn't hurt you. So I'm, I'm feeling, the more I talk about this, the more guilty I feel about what I just did. But I, I needed, I needed the meat. I had to have it. It was important. Because... Right over here, I just downed a Dilophosaurus. And we're going to use the prime meat that I just got from that Diplodocus to very quickly tame up this Dilophosaurus. And I know we have Dennis the Dilophosaurus, but we did not have a female. And we need the female Dilophosaurus to get Dilophosaurus eggs, which we need to get Dilophosaurus kibble, which we need to get high taming effectiveness while taming a Dodicorus. So we now have our female Dilophosaurus, and I'm going to get her back to base, which is just down the beach a little ways, and start, hopefully, getting some eggs. Alright, so we got her back, and let's see, there's Dennis, remember good old Dennis the Dilophosaurus, up to level 45 at this point, so that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, our new Dilophosaurus, who I will call... Hmm, how about some more alliteration here? That sounds like fun. Doris! Doris and Dennis the Dilophosaurus. Well, that almost rhymed. Doris the Dilophosaurus. I didn't even think about that. So, I was gonna, you know, tame a Dodicorus the optimal way. Ah, bugs, get away! Get away from me, bugs! I hate these things. Ah. They're actually pretty easy to take care of on a Pteranodon, these, um, Tanomira. Like giant, giant flying ants. And of course, they're giant flying aggressive ants, but anyway, not too bad. Ah, still got one left. No, wait, both of them. I thought I killed them. So, let's see if I can finally take care of these things. One more. Man, they're not hard at all to, like, survive. It's just a matter of actually hitting them on the Tranodon. Can't seem to time this right. This is like jousting, except a little less eventful. Less evenly matched, perhaps. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. I was going to do this the right way. I was going to get Dilophosaurus Kibble, get prepared, go find me a high-level Dodicorus, but I just happened to see this dude lumbering along a beach while I was taking a joyride on my Pteranodon, and I kind of want it. Um, I don't have the means to do anything with it to tame it or anything like that right now, but uh, I'm kind of impatient about taming this thing. So let's give it a shot. I just found, I think, an alpha raptor. I just noticed this really cool looking white raptor, and then I think it's got a little bit of red glowing around it. I believe this is an alpha. I'm not going to play with it. Um, it. It looks like it wants to play, but I, I think I'm going to avoid that uh, for now. Yeah, but cool. Oh man, so I was playing with the alpha raptor, and uh, I can't remember what exactly what happened, but I got knocked off my pteranodon. I, I came off my pteranodon. And now I'm getting chased and, and kind of killed a little bit by a Sarcosuchus. Oh man, I'm really hoping I can outrun it. I've been injured and so that's slowing me down and he's outspeeding me in the water. But surely at this point, I'm going to be able to get away from it. The scarier thing is, I don't know if I attracted the Alpha Raptor's attention or not. I'm going to guess no, because I think I'd be dead by now if I had. Certainly it'd be, it'd be chasing me. Because if the Sarco can keep up, I would think the Alpha Raptor could too. Although the Sarco is faster in water. Uh, I should be okay up here on this rock. I really... I'm a little bummed because I don't exactly know what happened to my Pteranodon. That's not... that's not her. I think I left her back in that delta area where the Alpha Raptor is. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm really hoping she's still flying around and didn't land on the ground. Oh no, what's going on? Man, I keep getting injured. I gotta get back somehow. Ugh, I think I just gotta run back to base and then use the, the recall 
function to try to recall my Pteranodon because I'm not seeing her. This is where I tamed her. Everything's come full circle. Let's hope this isn't where she dies. Ugh, that's annoying. Alright, well, I'm going to head back to base then. Alright, so for those of you that are just starting out playing the game, a really useful thing here is you can go into your little profile, click Tamed Creatures, and request a creature. So as it says there, all of the items in their inventory are lost, but they come back. So really in this case, I think all I had on the Pteranodon was meat. I don't mind losing a little meat to ensure that it gets back safely. I'd rather not have to run back on foot. I got my Pteranodon back, and I made my way back to where this Dodicarus was. And I've got some stuffs that I need to tame it up. Um, I don't have Dilophosaurus Kipple, that's true, but it's so low level it doesn't matter. And if I can just knock it out here with some Trank Arrows real quick, and slap a bunch of Rock Carrots on it. My farm is up and running, so I have like 200 Rock Carrots, so I just grabbed, I don't know how many, but I grabbed quite a few Rock Carrots. Probably takes reduced damage on the shell, so I better get down here. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of rock carrots on it and just babysit it for a while. And I think I'll use the same tactic to get it back that I did with my Pteranodon, where I'll just tame it and then get out of here real quickly. <clears throat> just leave it here and get back to base and request it. Uh, as long as nothing attacks it right when I'm here, I bet it'll survive long enough to where I can request it and then um, get back. Oh, it's running now, I think. I must have dealt it enough torpor damage to be able to... Yeah, it should almost be out there. Hopefully just a few more shots and it'll be... There we go! That was good timing, too. Because it was headed for the water. That could have ended badly. I think this thing's going to take quite a while to tame up, so I'm just going to hang out in the meantime and wait. But, uh, yeah. Oh, where there are flying ants, there are ones on the ground. But these things are just annoyances. They're not difficult to deal with, so no big deal. If all I have to guard this thing from are ants, I will be perfectly content. Because I passed a lot of spinos and I think a rex or two and a lot of raptors on the way here. So there's definitely some potential for angry critters to come in and interfere with this taming process. But hopefully it'll go alright. I've got lots of biotoxins so I can keep it knocked out. And something's attacking more ants. Uh, I love how the Pteranodon just circles and flails wildly, killing things like this. It's actually pretty good. I've, I've been surprised with how much damage that Pteranodon can take. But I like the look of the Stodicarus. It's got kind of like a that mottled yellow look to it. I really, very cool looking critter. I'm excited to get this thing tamed up. Oh, scorpion! Yeah, get away from it. Get away from it. It's already knocked out. Don't mess with it. It's just standing there. Oh, anyway, you know, I think I'll tame this thing. I've kind of been wanting a scorpion anyway, of course it's only level 5, but hey, at the very least it can kind of stand guard. Uh, I can maybe then later use it to knock things out. They have a, a poison, blah, 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 a poison that can actually paralyze and knock things out, so that's pretty cool. Alright, easy peasy. Okie dokie, you got more ants attacking me again. The scorpion's about tamed up, this Pulmonoscorpius. A, uh, one of the oldest, well, one of the most ancient creatures in the game, dating all the way back to the early Carboniferous. Uh, but anyway, I'll save the educational stuff for a later video when I have a nice Pulmonoscorpius pin. Uh, but anyway, do, 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 killed another ant. I'm doing a really good job of guarding this thing from ants. I feel pretty, pretty good about that. I think I'm, I think I'm very proud of myself for that. So, funny enough, you can tame these things up with raw meat, which is kind of neat, but now I'm putting normal meat on it. Should be good, should be able to eat that, keep it alive. And I think I'm just going to bring it on over here and park it right next to this Dodicarus, which needs a little bit more biotoxin to keep it going. But just in case, because I may perch on that rock over there and, and wait things out, but just in case I can't get here in time, this scorpion should be able to defend against... Uh, certainly ants, but hopefully anything larger that comes along it can do a good job of defending my Dodicarus sleeping beauty here. So yeah, this is kind of a long tame. It takes quite a while. But that's okay, well worth it. Dodicarus are expert rock farmers, stone farmers, which I will need in spades to be able to make uh, all the enclosures and structures that I want to be able to build. Yeah, so we're waiting still. A little bit longer. 
No, you stay away! No, this is like the worst thing that could happen. A Rex came out of nowhere. I didn't even see it. It just like appeared above the Dodicarus while I was there. I have no idea how that happened, but it... it I, I would say I'm worried that the... I don't even care about the scorpion it's chasing. It's going to die. Definitely going to die. Uh, the Dodicarus definitely... It looks like it's dead. It looks like it's moved and it's not moving, so it's got to be dead. Man, it was so close. I was so close to having that thing tamed up. And there goes the Pulmana Scorpius. Ugh. Stupid Rex. Man, that's really frustrating. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, it was low level. And, uh, all I did was waste some rock carrots and a little bit of biotoxin, which I can easily get back. But, ah, what a time sink. I feel like I... feel like that was really going to be a, a good, clean tame. And out popped a Rex. All right, so I was I found that previous Dodicarus in an area not known for Dodicarus, and here I am on a mountainside, one of the northeastern mountains. Found another nice Alpha Raptor, so that's fun. Uh, oh wait, two Alpha Raptors, awesome! So this is a great mountain to try to tame something on. This has got to go better than when that one Rex popped out, right? Two Alpha Raptors. I hear Carnos. This will be great, but I haven't seen one yet, so I'm gonna keep looking. Yeah, look at that. There you go. There's there's great RGs, all kinds of great stuff on this mountain. Super safe. Super safe. Well, I finally found a Dodicarus on the other side of the mountain from the Alpha Raptors, fortunately. But of course, there's a nice big Haunted Rex just messing around. So I'm going to try to lead the Rex away. I don't know how stupid this is. It's already fighting that um, Ankylo, so I'm kind of might not. Like I deal decent damage, but woohoo! Man, just getting hit by the, the kind of side damage on that thing was. That's pretty brutal. But I definitely need to get this Rex away from this Dodicarus, or we're going to see an exact repeat of what just happened. Uh, maybe I can lead it to this RG. I don't know if the RG will kill the Rex. It's a little weakened, but at the very least, something's going to kill something. And, and there's, uh, there's quite a few RGs here. And the RGs aren't coming at me like this Rex, so I'm kind of hoping I can bring it over here and have the RGs tear it up. No, 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 no. It's getting distracted. What a short attention span. Its health's already, like, halfway down, so... I feel pretty good that we can... Man, I gotta quit flying in front of its head. I feel pretty good that we can take this out. Oh, the RG might be aggroed on the Rex, or it might... Yep, it's on me. Oh, three RGs on me. That's cool. And freezing. Man, this is a this is a fun mountain here. I better fly out of the way here. I don't know. The Rex is a little ways away from the Dodicarus, but I've just got to... There we go. The RGs seem to have a pretty low aggro range, so they didn't keep up with me, which I'm glad for. Oh, let's see what that Rex is up to. Hey, look at that! He's dancing. Look at him go. That's... Whoa! I love the glitches in this game. Isn't that spectacular? That is a... That looks like a witch is holding that Rex in a spell and flinging it around. That's ridiculous. Anyway, we may have a clear way to tame this... Oh, what's that? No! Dimorphodon! That is not a good thing to get attacked by. Well, I lost the Dimorphodon, um, still freezing, still raining, I think I'm going to start losing health from the cold. That's the Dead Rex, Glitchy Rex, I think, I don't even know anymore. But, uh, let's see if we can get this thing tamed, I'm going to park this dude up here, and what is that? Sabertooth, you know what? I am done with this Dodicarus, goodbye. Alright, so while searching for a safer Dodicarus tame, I happened upon my first Giganotosaurus in this game. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with that thing, but I kind of know where one is for the far off, very distant future when I might actually want to tame one, and to that effect, I'm going to get pretty far away from that thing before I even think about taming a Dodicarus. There's also lots of great crystal here, so lots of good dangerous critters around, still looking for that Dodicarus though. You know, I really thought they'd be more common, I mean, like, I'm, I'm up on a really dangerous mountain. Uh, if you look at the map on the wiki, this is supposed to be a really high spawn area. They just must not spawn in huge numbers anywhere. But I've, I've had to do quite a bit of, I would say legwork, but really wing work here, trying to get to uh, any Dodicarus. And I think, you know, I saw like two, maybe three, and you saw me tame, try to tame two, so. So remember that time when I didn't record the thing, when I actually tamed it? Well, yeah, something like that kind of happened again. Uh, long story short, I tamed this thing, and I recalled it successfully back to my base. 
Um, <laughs> right after I cut out, I think probably the previous video I got, uh, I found one, and it wasn't in a great place, but the only thing hanging around was some saber tooths, and I was able to leave them off the cliff, successfully tame this thing, and bring it back, and put a saddle on it. So, sorry, you got to see me unsuccessfully try to tame two, and uh, I once again missed the actual successful tame, but it wasn't, uh, other than leading the saber tooths off the cliff, which was actually pretty cool, it, not a whole lot happened. And I can't get it out of the house now. So that was the only flaw in my whole requesting it back to my bed thing. But anyway, I can rebuild wood. No big deal. Alright, I had to destroy half of my house, but I got... Well, not half, but I, a big chunk of it. But I got the Dodicarus out. And now I think I'm going to have to destroy a little segment of this fence. Which isn't too costly, but I gotta be a little careful because I don't want to let the dodos out. Not that they are terribly irreplaceable, but you know, uh, whoa, he's in the ground. That was weird. Um, yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's not let's not follow the dodo out of the pen. <sighs> Oops. Well, that. Uh, well, I can. <laughs> it's strong enough to kill a dodo in one hit. I know that now. Not that that's a terribly impressive feat. And got that fence in just in time. No more dodos escaped. And I think the Dilophosaurus actually ate that dead dodo. So yeah, went to a good cause. Uh, let's. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what I've been wanting to do forever. Roll in this thing. Isn't that cool? It's like Sonic the Hedgehog. This Dodicarus can can roll pretty fast. I guess I expected it to be a little faster, but maybe if its movement speed was higher. And then, boom! Look at that. Sixty something stone. Thirty five stone. We just got like a hundred stone in two hits. That is cool. And so it walks pretty slow, but that's all right. Boom, 49 stone. And boom, 53 stone. Look at that, that is crazy, I love it. This thing is going to be great for building the enclosures for our park. And roll, roll, roll. I wish it rolled a little faster, but that's all right. That rolling also eats up a lot of stamina. I guess. Of course, that's a slow-moving, tanky thing. I shouldn't expect it to be super fast. But I am loving how much rock this thing gets. And, uh, yeah. This is gonna work out just fine, I think. Alrighty, so after a good bout of smacking rocks around, let's see what we've got. Brought it back to base. Let's see how many rocks we've gathered. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like 700 stone in fairly short order. I really like this critter. Yeah, so that's going to make building our enclosures much, much easier. And at some later point, I'll probably tame a higher level one. But I'm good with this for now. Got my crop plots coming along well, too. Look at this magnificent beast basking in the glory of the setting sun. I think I'm just going to not ride off, but you know, roll off into the sunset. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, and do check in next time for another installment of ARK Survival Evolved on mobile.